Bob Ray joins me now, Canada's ambassador to the United Nations. Bob, good to see you. And I know that you've had a long-standing relationship with Salman Rushdie. Your thoughts when you heard what happened on Friday? Well, I, like everyone, I was horrified. I mean, it was, it was. Uh, I can't say. I mean, I don't think it for anybody who's been following uh, Salman's writings and career and his courage. Uh, you can't say that it was. It, it was. Uh, completely unanticipated, but it certainly goes far beyond anything I think we expected. Um, and this late in the day, I mean, mm -hmm. this uh, the the uh, fatwa dates back uh, 30 years, uh, so it's uh, it's it's hard it's hard to uh, it's impossible to accept. And I think he's shown a lot of courage in how he is how he has uh, carried on his life. And I think he, from everything I can tell. He continues to show a lot of uh, a lot of feistiness and a lot of a lot of spunk, which I think is something that we all appreciate in this in this personality. Certainly did, and I know as we were showing pictures there, Bob, of you and Salman Rushdie. This is back in 1992 when he was coming to speak at an event. It was all very hush hush about this, of course, because of the concern for his safety. But you yourself putting yourself out there, and 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 Salman asking you at this event, are you going to introduce me and in, you know to the public? Is this going to happen publicly? And you were quite rightly so saying, you know, yes. And of course, the iconic photo of uh, of the of the kiss that happened backstage. There it is, <laughs> and that, of course, then started a long friendship between the two of you. You still keep in touch. Yes, I, I mean I haven't spoken to him for quite a while, Frank, because I mean uh, we were not in touch during uh, during COVID, uh, but we had a we had a commemoration of his of his visit uh, in Toronto, uh, which was very important in his in his in his life in his political life because that was really the breakthrough which he he came public, he came publicly to the meeting. Um, I met with him both privately and uh, and publicly. Uh, and I think that after that happened, I think a number of other political leaders decided that it was time to uh, to 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 do the same. And and as a result of that, and the amount of protection and security that he had over many 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 years, um, he was able to carry on his writing, his work, his lecturing, um, his public appearances. Um, he's a terrific speaker. He has a, uh, a incredible sense of humor and a tremendous sense of life. Uh, so uh, it's it's been wonderful that uh, he's been able to express himself as mm -hmm. as uh, publicly as he has been. Um, the idea that this attack would take place somewhere in a small literary festival in uh, upstate New York, uh, I think, is um, just comes as, as a complete that part of it comes mm -hmm. as a complete surprise given all of the circumstances that uh, he's lived through in so many other public events.